once again the beauty of levels coming into picture coming into play here see us crude getting the support at 85.5 i told you you might see a very strong support at 85.5 precisely it has taken the support from those levels trying to rise a little while ng has seen a high ng has seen a near term high at 9.65 i told you 9.4 which above which it may definitely try to act bullish but it has achieved the high now trying to trade with a drop again at 9.2 what is going to happen today which position you should take where to take or where to trade safely and how to make profit we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators if you are missing to subscribe definitely you are missing on the profits don't commit this mistake just subscribe and do watch till the end do listen to it carefully first we'll look into us crude followed with ng Let's start the day. Look, US crude has taken a support here at eighty five point five, and can you see it is trying to trade with a slight bullishness out there? It is trying to trade in this channel. The resistance there at eighty eight point two, eighty eight point five is going to be strong. Just you have to be aware of this. 88.5 is the level you should watch out for also remember it is trading near to the top of the bollinger bands which is at 88 definitely this should be good support 87 is a good resistance on the downside for on the hourly chart so if it breaks below 87 again 86.5 86 85.5 should come into picture directional movement bullish stochastic comfortable and looking upwards macd is bullish trying to converge rsi looking upwards on the hourly charts indicating little bullishness there on the 2 hour charts likewise if you see now look flat bottom connect the dots out there it is getting the resistance at 88 on the 2 hour charts the support there at 87 once again do not trade between 87 and 88 above 88 rather i will say 88.2 you can expect 88.5 and 89 to provide resistance then 89.5 is a very good resistance and then 90 dollars should come into picture Directional movement not indicating anything. Stock is still again looking upwards. MACD is bullish and divergent. RSI looking upwards here. See with little bullish move, it is it how beautifully it uh, comforts the indicator with just a little bullish move out there. Now look at the three R charts flat or double bottom. With double bottom, it is consolidated and seen a rise. At the same time, one must observe it is failing to go past the highs here. Yes, you can stay long above eighty-eight levels, beyond which you can expect eighty-eight point two, eighty-eight point five levels should be a good resistance zone. Then eighty-nine and eighty ninety levels should come into picture. Directional movement is moderately bullish, not indicative of anything. Stock elastic is bullish too. The MACD has just crossed over. It is three. Candles apart, and it is divergent here. Indicates a little bullishness here. RSI looking upwards, and on the four-hour charts, likewise. If you see, one thing if you observe here is it is trying to trade in this channel so far. At the same time, for last few candles, it has created a flat bottom and taking the support at eighty-five point five. So below eighty-five point five, my near-term target at eighty-four could be seen, which is going to be a good support. Right now, it is trying to get the resistance here on the upside at eighty-eight, which is going to be a good resistance. Beyond that, eighty-eight point two, eighty-eight point five should be the resistance. Beyond that, we may see it hitting eighty-nine and ninety levels. Ninety levels are going to be definitely a very good resistance on the upside. Directional movement is bearish and stochastic is willing to converge crossover and again try to drop. Let's see if it does. MACD has just crossed over. This is a bullish cross. Indicates that the bullish momentum can be sustained a little. RSI is near bottom, near to bottom. Now look at the four hour charts carefully. See, it has seen a flat bottom. It is trying to rise. See, first thing is, it is trying to. Trade within this. Once it breaks past this zone at eighty eight, definitely it will call for a little bullish momentum, taking it towards eighty eight point two and eighty eight point five. So right now with the stop loss at eighty seven, yes, you can stay long and only short entry. I will recommend is below eighty seven, where you can expect eighty six point five, eighty six, eighty five point five. If it breaks below eighty five point five, it may probably lend directly. Let it give a little time, and then it will directly lend to eighty four. On the upside, if it breaks and sustains above eighty-eight point five, you can expect it to hit eighty-nine point two, eighty-nine point eight, or ninety dollar, ninety point two lower levels should be seen there today itself. Beyond that, we may see a strong bullish move till towards ninety-two levels. 
just be attentive there directional movement is bearish stock ist is willing to converge crossover the macd has just crossed over we have seen rsi looking upwards and if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts you will find that see despite the good uh, inventory data yesterday from the us it has seen a rise but it failed to break past the highs of this channel and the highs of this channel are situated at around 89 level so for the day yes you can go long here at 88 and pro when the next candle starts probably we may see it rising for 88.5 89 and then 9092 levels can also be seen then you can consider this as reversal however if you look at it here see this is a channel in which oil is trading right now this time it is trying to create previously this time it has created a base and reversed and achieved the highs now it is trying to create a base and try to achieve the high again 90 90.2 91 level should be the next resistance zone which if it continues to rise there is a resistance there directional movement is bearish here a stochastic is bought at bottom and it is oversold MACD is again trying to cross over for a sell there and RSI is at bottom considering this only short entry I will recommend today is below 87 below that you can expect 86.5 86 and 85.5 and below that if it sustains below 85.5 you can expect it to drop for 85 just watch for 85 and 84 84 is definitely a good support level below that further drop can be expected on the upside if it trades beyond 88 you can go long rather I will say 88.2 go long there expect it to rise for 88.5 89.2 89.8 and 90.2 .90 levels beyond that 90.91 levels should come into picture so take your trade accordingly and trade profitably now let's have a look at NG and yes friends just support the effort become a pattern the link is mentioned in the description it hardly costs anything for you but it means a lot to me so just become a pattern out there definitely i will be there to support you in need now look at the early charts for ng it is trying to take a support here at 9.15 it is created a base at the same time it is giving you lower highs so yes you can go long at 9.25 then again you can expect 9.3 9.4 and then we may see it achieving the highs out there see yesterday it has seen the double top at 9.65 which is the near term high last time we have seen 9.65 giving it a resistance a few days back and again it has achieved this level formed a double top only short entry is appears it below 9.15 today probably below 9.15 you can expect a little bearishness above 9.25 you can stay long there let's have a more detailed look directional movement is bullish stock is at bottom trying to rise MACD is bearish trying to converge here and cross over for a bullish move RSI looking upwards likewise if you see on the two hour charts it has created a base at 9.15 trying to rise higher lows lower highs and it is trying to consolidate if it breaks past 9.25 we can expect 9.3 the next resistance zone and then 9.4 the further next resistance zone so 9.4 9.42 should be watch out for beyond that it will fly high remember it is trying to create higher lows here indicating still it is bullish also remember it is trying to trade in this channel if it continues to trade bullish you can expect again 9.5 plus plus levels directional movement is bullish stochastic is oversold on the two hour chart trying to rise macd is bearish trying to converge here rsi looking upwards likewise if you see on the three hour charts it is creating higher lows and it is getting the support from the 20 period moving average on the three hour charts higher lows lower highs go short above go short below 9.15 go long above 9.25 above 9.25 you can again expect 9.3 levels and then beyond that we will look forward to 9.4 and 9.55 levels directional movement bullish bullish willing to converge stock stock is oversold macd has just crossed over it is divergent and this is just three candles apart and hence it may call for a little bearishness rsi which overbought here it has again cooled down to comfortable levels here and if you look at the 4 hour charts likewise on the 4 hour charts you may find that it is trying to reverse it is giving you higher lows and lower highs consolidating here remember if it breaks past 9.15 again a bullish bearish move may come which will bring, the, bring it till towards 9 dollar levels which is a very good support and then towards 8.88 .88 levels the next support zone rather 8.989 levels the next strongest support zone at the same time if it breaks past 9.25 you can expect 9.3 and 9.4 the next resistance zone on the upside 
Directional movement is bullish. Stochastic is oversold. MACD has just crossed over and it is divergent and it is bearish. This is just two candle apart. So any rise should be good to sell. Probably it appears. But let's trade as per the levels. We know the levels to go long and we know the levels to go short. We can trade as per that and take our profits. RSI is near to top and it is slightly <laughs> entering into overbought level. Look at the 4 hour charts. I was talking about this double top. It is formed. The high it has seen the levels out there. It has already achieved these levels. Now trying to retrace. At the same time, one must observe that after this retracement, this is the third candle out there. And it is trying to respect the bottom of this channel, which is right now situated at around 9.15 levels. So if it breaks past 9.15 after a few hours, yes, you can go short there. Expect the next red candle to come. Then we will look forward to $9. 9.02, 8.95, 8.9 and 8.88 till 8.88 we can get a strong support then we can expect it to further drop till towards 8.8 and 8.7 levels. On the upside if it breaks past 9.25 you can go long then just be cautious of 9.4 levels. So yes beyond 9.25 you can expect 9.3, 9.4 levels to provide it a very strong resistance beyond that it will fly for 9.52 and then 9.65 levels again. Take your trades accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do become a patron, do join my membership channel, do join the signals group. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email ID are mentioned in the channel description. Also the pattern link is also mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.